I think I'm extremely blessed to have gone through this. It really gave me an opportunity to reevaluate re a lot of things. And I took that time I had just to, as like a, almost a sabbatical <laughs> in a sense yeah. to like, you know, read and learn and be like, okay, like, am I making the right decisions? Um, am I doing the things that it's really going to lead to the life that I ideally want? Um, and a lot of this also came up because I was living on my own. I had to make these decisions for myself. I didn't really have like a, a fall back because my parents like really weren't doing well financially, which is yeah. again, another, another big reason mm -hmm. that, you know, kind of pushed me towards this direction. So I ended up reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad that really started to change my philosophy. Um, and I started reevaluating what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something more entrepreneurial. I wanted to, you know, get into business for myself. But the big thing for me, and I think this is so important for anyone that's, you know, potentially considering the financial industry or any other type of entrepreneurial endeavor, is I realized the importance of chasing impact rather than income. So a lot of people get into various spaces because they're like, hey, like I want to make a big income. I want to, you know, be able to have the abundance, live that lifestyle. And I realized that like, that is almost a, like, it's a very finite mindset because like, if you're just chasing income, you're going to get burnt out at some point in time. At like, it's point. just, there's just no amount of money that can, you know, suffice for, you know, the stress you'll feel in an industry, all the things that you'll go through. Like, there's just never an amount of money. So I chose, I was like, okay, like I obviously do want to be able to provide for my family. Um, but I also want to have a big impact on the people that I'm working with. And I want to be able to make a change, you know, in my community and hopefully the world as well, too. So um, mid 20s, again, I was like 23, 24 at this time working at a hospital, really starting to, and this happened over the course of time, but really starting to evaluate what I want to do. And in the midst of that, my parents, their health also started to decline a lot. Um, unfortunately, my, like I grew up in my parents, my dad had bipolar, my mom had schizophrenia. They never really took care of their health that much over time. So it really started to decline a lot in my mid twenties. Um, so I started to really see the impact, not only of their health declining and what that meant for them, but also them not being able to have the financial resources to take care of themselves in that elder age and in those stages of life. I saw like, all right, like they just weren't able to get, get into the best hospitals. They weren't able to receive the best treatment. And seeing that and seeing all the pain that they had to go through and me just being essentially helpless was just, it really like Start pushed a button. Fire. <laughs> yeah, it really you know, created a fire in me. I'm like, man, like this is, this is, this sucks. This really sucks. Like, um, and I uh, remember, like, I saw um, my dad unfortunately got diagnosed with terminal cancer when I was like 25, 26, and this was actually right when I was like starting in the financial industry. And yeah, I yeah. realized so before. So I just want to mark yeah, yeah. These, mark these points for people so they're following along because I think it's super important that we're living in a time where social media is giving us the impression that whoever we're mm -hmm. listening to has been successful since day one. And so I'm, yeah. looking at, I'm looking at document stories here where I'm like, look, this guy started at 18, you know, we're going to school, the life changing event occurred at 21. So whatever your decision making process was prior to 21, mm -hmm. just did a complete switch. So from, mm -hmm. from after that moment of jaw being wired shut and now you're forced to use these ears more and yeah, yeah. and read with our eyes and listen to the word of god and how he's working on us in this challenging time to then make that decision of chasing impact over income that came after 21 so that's that's mm -hmm. very important that those of you that are watching that we see this paradigm occur where it's life-changing event everyone has it you have to define where that occurred from that point is where we start counting in terms mm -hmm. of how we're going to shift our life. And then now we start to see the compounding effect of, mm -hmm. I just had this life-changing event. I now find this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, paradigm shift. So life-changing event, paradigm shift, decision-making process changes. He says, chase impact over income. While that's going on, you're now in the season of additional disappointing things starting to occur. Just as you're finding that good thing, 
that's going to change your life. Boom, 23, 24, parents' health starts to decline. And at 25, dad is diagnosed with terminal cancer, correct? Mm -hmm. So continue from where, where you was about to say now that I have that context here and the, the audience can see that. Absolutely. So at that time when my father was diagnosed with terminal cancer, it, you know, I, I can't say that it wasn't something that I didn't see coming just because of his health, but of course it was like a major, major shocker. Major blow. Um, yeah, major blow. Like I, I did not have the ability to in any way care for him um, with his hospital, his, his bills, his health wise. I just didn't have the capacity to do so. So I was really just powerless and when you are faced with that, like for anyone dealing with someone that you truly care about, it's very like, for me, I was just like, all right, I don't want anyone I ever care about to ever have to go through this again. And me be in the same position where I can't do anything to help them out, but watch. Yeah. So um, in the midst of this, I realized like, hey, like, all right, if he had had the right financial tools, we could have had a much different outcome. We may have been prepared um, to make sure that he had the assets available to provide for himself health wise. Um, he would have had like life insurance in place. Like there's all these different things like wills, trust, all this stuff that like I had no knowledge of that he didn't have prepared for him. So I had to start really, for me, I was like, okay, all this stuff I don't really know about. I'm going to start learning about a lot of it so that I can prepare myself and prepare the people that I care about so they can be in a better position. So that's really like, a, like it starts to just motivate me to increase my own financial literacy and start learning on my own. So in the midst of this, like whenever I start learning things, I just love to share them because I think that, you know, knowledge should be free <laughs> at the end of the day. People should have that knowledge available to empower themselves and better their lives.